Ahoy everyone and welcome back once again to the channel. Now in today's video I'm going to show you a fairly new release by IX and DAO. A fairly impressive new release I might add. But if you stick around towards the end of the video I'm going to show you another watch. A sort of bonus watch if you like. When IX and DAO reached out to me recently inviting me to review this watch. They also said look a friend of ours has set up a watch brand and they've released their first watch. Don't suppose you fancy taking a look and maybe including this one in the video as well? And I thought, yeah, why not? And because I've got two watches to show you in today's video, I'm not going to hang around. Let's get straight into taking a look at this Titanium IX and DAO. Now, it looks to me, I've been on the official store on AliExpress, it looks to me like they have reused a case and bracelet from another watch that they've made. No problems with that whatsoever. I don't mind that at all. But they've paired it with a new sort of dial and hands combination, and I think it looks pretty good. Now, there is only one color option available. It's this one, but it is available with three different movements. You can have it with a PT5000. I've been offered that watch for 233 $3, SW200, $321, or an ETA2824 for $409 US dollars. Look, the watch is good, but personally, I think the PT5000 version is more than adequate. And not only does this watch look pretty good, it feels good, and the specifications are impressive. This is now the third watch from this brand that I featured on my channel, and they aren't pumping out a lot of new watches, but what they are producing seems to be particularly good quality. Titanium, not the easiest material to work with, but they've executed this watch very, very nicely. It's fully brushed. There's no polishing anywhere, so we're not going to get to enjoy those polished to brushed transitions. But I can tell you in my hand, this does not feel like an AliExpress watch. I have handled very expensive titanium watches before, and this doesn't feel any different. In fact, I like the color of it. Sometimes titanium can look a little bit, I don't know, dirty. Um, they've finished this one very, very nicely. It's brushed. It's not got that sort of dull bead blasted finish that you quite often see with titanium. And I'm also pleased to report that the bezel action feels nice. That is often something that lets down titanium dive watches, the bezel actions, because I think it's the material. It sort of impacts the feel and the sound of the clicks. But this one actually sounds and feels really, really good. Sixty click unidirectional bezel action, um, ceramic bezel insert, sapphire crystal, um, titanium throughout, two hundred meters of water resistance, screw down case back, screw down crown. I'll show you the loom degrading at the end of the video alongside the second watch that I'm going to show you. Decent construction throughout, so um, yeah, solid end links, solid links. The clasp feels nice. No diver's extension, but you've got a few micro adjustments there. Screw pins as well, they feel nice. It just feels like a quality watch. And despite them not putting any actual polished edges on the watch, there is a slightly decorative look to it. The applied logo at the 12 o'clock and those applied indexes really quite sort of shiny and reflective. A little bit of light play from those. There is a chamfered edge flanking the case. It's not polished, it's brushed, but that's a nice touch. You've also got that on the outer shell of the clasp. The bracelet is fairly simple, but it feels good. It looks good. Now, I've got to say, this is an impressive piece. Um, 233 US dollars out of any AliExpress sale at the moment. Um, I suspect if you wait for the 11th of the 11th sale, you might be able to pick this one up for, I don't know, maybe sub $200 if you can. I think that would be an incredible buy. Just look at those hands and the dial. Okay, legibility might be called into question, but looks good. Looks really, really good. Yep, I like it. Very, very impressive. Um, yeah, there's a good reason why a lot of other reviewers alongside myself rave about this brand, and it's because they produce watches like this. Right, let's now move on to the second watch. It is a bet timer, or is it bet timer? 
bet, Timmer? I don't know. Um, first thing I am going to say, though, is branding is not the greatest, is it? I know some other brands on AliExpress might have even more questionable branding than this. But today, I can only review the watch that's in front of me. And yeah, I'm not wild about the branding. Um, I think they've only made one watch, so it's not too late, I don't think, to maybe adjust that maybe put BT on the dial or something, or maybe change the branding completely. Kronos did it, don't forget. Um, yeah, they went from Lug U to Kronos um, after producing a few watches, and that transition or change seems to have been pretty successful for them. I think there was a channel, a YouTube channel, that might have helped them with that transition, if I recall. I don't remember the exact details. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a shame, really, because actually they've produced quite an interesting watch. Again, it houses the PT5000, and again, the finishing looks pretty good. Um, this one's a 316L stainless steel watch, integrated bracelet. Again, it feels like a quality watch in my hand. The brushing is interesting. Instead of going along the bracelet and the case, they've gone against it, haven't they? Sort of left to right, side to side. The brushing on the side of the case is longitudinal, but yeah, the brushing on top of the bracelet and case is a little bit different, that sort of side to side brushing. You do have some very nice polished accents. The polishing, not the best, but it's also by no means um, the worst for this sort of money. I think the finishing is actually very, very good. Now I've been offered this watch outside of any sale for 219 US dollars, four color options available. Um, only one movement option, I think. Let me check that. Yep, only one movement option available. That is the PT5000, uh, 28,800 beats per hour hacks, hand winds. It is a Chinese movement, but yeah, it's a pretty decent one. Now looking at the specifications, yeah, no real weaknesses here. Um, sapphire crystal with AR coating, BGW9. Again, I'll show you the loom degrading at the end of the video. 100 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, a screwed down down case back, solid bracelets, solid links, screw pins, butterfly clasp. Now, interestingly, they are offering a half link to accompany this watch, but you've got to buy that individually by the looks of it. Um, they're not the only ones to do this. Venezia and Eco do this. Please, can we have half links included with the watch from now on? Anyone? Anyone? I do like the way they have color coded the date wheel. Um, that requires extra effort and money and time. Um, yeah, to take the date wheel that is already on the movements, remove it and replace it with a color matching one and um, four colors available, don't forget. So they've done that for um, four different colors, which I like. I do like the color of this one. And when you look at the dial and the logo and those applied indexes and the hands under macro, it's bright, it's colorful, it's clean, it's fairly crisp the bezel looks good it's interesting sort of stepped bezel with a circle and a sort of octagon bezel sitting on top of that a mix of finishing very nice brushing on the side of the case look it is you know a nice watch it is it's just the branding unfortunately for me it lets it down so you never know, um, maybe another YouTube channel will step in and offer their services to put it out to you guys to suggest a new brand name. It definitely worked for Kronos. I really do need to find out who that was that helped Kronos do that. Because I remember they got quite a lot of stick for it and people weren't happy with the end result. But oh, it seems to have sort of settled down now and no one seems to mind the Kronos branding. Hmm. I think I better leave it there before I get myself into trouble. Right, guys, as always, thanks for watching and let me know what you think of the watches in the comments section.